What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Jairus D here. Um, and I am coming to you for ICP draft analysis for Season 2. Um, quickly, before we get started, I haven't uploaded in about six months. Um, but we're back for ICP because I got bored. And I wanted to upload Pokemon. And I play Pokemon, so why not upload it? Right? So, if you don't know... Uh, ICP is run by uh, Seth, aka SW087. He's the commissioner of the league. He is a good friend of mine. Um, he is a pillar in the Pokemon YouTube Draft League community. Uh, pumps out great content on his channel. Um, <clears throat> I know he has a draft analysis up as well for his squad, so I'll link him down below. Make sure you go check his out um, and any other coaches that I know of that are uploading the season. Um, I will link them as well. It's not strictly an upload, uh, an, an upload league uh, for this season, but there are a couple coaches that are. Um, and what makes IP ICP so special, in my eyes at least, is that. Uh, there's a couple guys in here that I've been watching play Pokemon uh, on YouTube Draft League content uh, for a long time, at least a year, um, before I was ever kind of invited into their servers, and then they slowly, slowly uh, migrated over to ICP. They did a Wi-Fi League a while back with Seth, um, etc., etc. You got Mario, you got JV. Uh, you got Trexo in there. Um, so really guys that are uh, experienced and also experienced in in the YouTube game, which is super cool. So, without further ado, before we get into the team build, um, uh, the team draft, uh, there's one more thing. There's a Seattle coach. I'm the coach of the Seattle Pidgeots. There's a coach of the Seattle Dragonairs. Uh, I don't remember. I think it's TV, TV Zero, I believe, um, is the coach of the Seattle Dragonairs. Coincidentally, I wanted to rebrand. Uh, I'm usually the Seattle Pidgeots. I'm not from Seattle. Um, I'm Canadian. I am from the great province of Manitoba. Um, <clears throat> and for the longest time, we have very few sports teams here that... Uh, are kind of well known. Um, we have the hockey team, the the Jets, and we have the CFL team, the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. So, there's the Aqua Jets have been done before many times. The the Winnipeg Aqua Jets. I know. Um, oh, there was a guy he he participated in like GBA season one. Um, anyway, he was the Winnipeg Aqua Jets. Didn't want to take that. Um, it's kind of just lame. I could have done just Winnipeg Jets and just went off with Skarmory or with Latios as my mascot or something like that, but I didn't want to. So I went with the Blue Bombers as my as my uh, inspiration here. So we're just gonna just gonna show you old logo. This is very unprofessional, but I don't care. So this is the kind of the logo that I was looking to replicate um, or play off of. And so what I thought to myself is, there's a bunch of moves that end in bomb uh, that I could make the blank bombers. Uh, so I chose mud bombers, and as my mascot, I chose the freaking wish cash, bro. It's sick. I love it so much. Um, we are the Winnipeg mud bombers. I am JRSD, your coach of the Winnipeg mud bombers. Anyway, just gotta get that out of the way. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, so, little spoilers already, but you can see, round one, uh, I was pick 14 out of 16, I believe, um, so pretty close to the end wheel, uh, which means I wasn't going to get any of the super crazy stuff, uh, I wasn't going to get Dragapult, I wasn't going to get Urshifu, I wasn't going to get Melmetal, um, or Megalopony, or all those big, big stuff, so, I really had no plan coming into it, um, but, through Gen 8, uh, I've been really impressed by guys being able to use Excadrill 
um, and, and being able to use it not just as a sand sweeper um, because it's more than that right like it's rapid spin it's decent bulk it's got a great HP stat um, it's basically just uh, all around good Pokemon um, so I picked up extra drill as you can see 16 points uh, there was 120 uh, allowed for 10 to 12 Pokemon uh, so yeah so round two comes around and that's three picks later for me and Tapu Koko is still on the board and I wasn't thinking of taking Tapu Koko I actually wanted Reggie Alecki um, later on as my Electro type but you can't say no to Tapu Koko in round two um, so I was like screw it alright Tapu Koko it is there's my fairy um, obviously huge special uh, hitter uh, with the dual stabs Volt Switch U-Turn uh, Grass Knot, Calm Mind, Roost obviously it does get defogged but not not really looking at it um, but yeah just we all know what Tapu Koko does um, I've used it many times since Gen 7 and it is great uh, so yeah so because Gen 8 is almost finished um, and we are moving on to Shining Pearl and Brilliant Diamond uh, I wanted to get some Mons that I haven't used in draft that I've always wanted to use um, in case there's some changes uh, in Gen 9 so Mega Gyarados is something that I have not used I don't think ever in a draft league uh, I've definitely used it on Showdown um, and I love it it's great it's so bulky um, you can see great attack stat obviously great HP plus great defenses pretty slow at 81 uh, and with extra drill kind of relying on the sand to be fast Gyarados kind of relying on the um, on a D-Dance uh, to be fast obviously gets very good stabs uh, gets a great special move pool uh, got Power Whip in Gen 8 um, as well as Scale Shot which is super cool um, so yeah another versatile Pokemon obviously Intimidate and Moxie as base Gyarados is pretty cool I can get a Scale Shot off it and uh, get a Moxie boost um, maybe <coughs> kind of a free, uh, free Dragon Dance uh, yeah we know what Gyarados does it's it's great and I just I wanted to use it um, and I think it pairs really well with Tapu Koko um, being able to take out the ground types that want to stop Tapu Koko uh, it also checks well not checks but is an answer to a lot of the powerful ground types um, and steel types even not that it resists steel but it has earthquake and stuff like that so I thought it was a good offensive pairing. And because it might be the last uh, uploaded league that I do for Gen 8, uh, I wanted to get my favorite draft league Pokemon um, and kind of start my defensive core here with Tangrowth. I love Tangrowth so much. I love it. You can see in my past videos, I think it was IBL Season 6 or something, I uploaded a draft. Uh, analysis video where I raved about Tangrowth um, and I love this thing I love it so much it has awesome defense um, awesome HP and you slap an assault vest on it and suddenly it's a special wall everyone knows what Tangrowth got, does um, but I, I just like it so much it's so easy to use with Regenerator uh, you sop up a hit you switch out um, on a Scarfer or on a uh, abandoned one you see what they're going to use and then by switching it in take 45 percent switch back out you're back to 90 percent and you go into something that can actually check it uh it's just so easy to use um and i love it i love it i love it i love it uh yeah so 14 points for tango 15 points for gyarados and then i needed to get sand i had extra drill i wanted to use it outside of sand mostly um but you gotta get sand when you have extra drill. So, Gigalith, it's a solid rocker. Uh, another good defensive Pokemon. Uh, obviously, gets access to Body Press now. Uh, so, with Curse sets or Iron Defense sets, uh, gets really good coverage, to be honest. Uh, it gets Dark, Fighting, Steel, and Ground uh, coverage, which is super good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah, and obviously, just Toxic and all that 
wonderful stuff. Uh, so that gives me a rocker here that means that extra doesn't have to be rocks all the time, which shouldn't be anyway. Um, and then, speaking of mons that I wanted to use, so Braviary is an interesting mon because it is really, really fat for some reason. Uh, 100 base, base HP with 75 defenses. Um, it's just really fat, and it, with the addition of heavy duty boots, I think it can be really good as a bulky defogger. Similar to Moltres, how Moltres was really bad um, until Gen 8, um, especially in draft. Well, not really bad, but bad. Um, obviously, due to rocks. Um, and now with heavy duty boots, it's one of the top tier defoggers. Uh, for sure with flame body and stuff. So Braviary has Defiant, uh, which obviously prevents a lot of defog. <coughs> so I have two rockers. Uh, you can see already on the screen that I'm getting at least one T-Spiker. Um, and yeah, I just, I really wanted to use it. It gets bulk up, it gets defog obviously, roost, um, it gets tailwind, it gets whirlwind, um, and yeah it's a good scarfer if i need it to be it's great banded uh it's like P mega pidgeot but physical um kind of thing where it can just fire off 100 percent accurate bright birds um with a choice band and you don't really switch into that unless you're a rock type so yeah and another great ability is sheer force which i don't know how many moves actually use sheer force i guess like iron head rock slide um, Zen Headbutt. Crush Claw. <laughs> yeah, guess Crush Claw. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, yeah, Sheer Force is usable, for sure. Um, and I saw, I think it was Kelly, uh, under the radar, um, used Braviary in one of his leagues lately, um, and I thought it looked really good, and I've been wanting to use it. Um, it's one of my favorite mons to use in competitive Pokemon in general. I'm in the lower tiers. So, at 7 points, decided to snag it. And now, we get to the special side of my big hitters here. So, if you know me, you know that I don't like cleaners. Um, I have a tendency to prefer and almost exclusively uh, prefer bulky or balanced attack uh, when it comes to offense um, and things like Kartana things like um, Cephalon uh, not just to name Ultra Beasts, uh, Mega Alakazam um, uh, mm, even Urshifu really um, I like things that have recovery um, and that can take a hit to deal one back, basically. Um, so, I hadn't really used Latios, but I picked it up in SSBA this season, uh, which is another league that I'm doing, not uploading, obviously, but it's an Ubers league. And I picked it up, and it is awesome. I love this thing. And I'd never used it before in a draft, and I don't know why. I've used Latias. Um, pretty underwhelming if I had to say so myself uh, yeah so the thing about Latios is it gets every coverage you could ever want um, basically yeah like literally the only thing it doesn't get is like fairy type coverage which would be kind of broken but it doesn't really need it because it's got fighting type coverage obviously dragon stab and it doesn't get flying coverage oh I guess it does actually it gets air slash anyway I love Latios now <laughs> uh, yeah, so Combine sets Life Orb Combine sets uh, You got Soldu is back in the game Which is super cool, it's like a mini Life Orb um, But for your Stab moves, and so if your opponent Is neutral to your stab moves And doesn't resist them, doesn't have a good Steel type Or doesn't have a good Dark type um, Or you just don't think that Pokemon's coming, you run Soldu It's basically a Life Orb on your Draco Meteors And you don't take damage and you get Calm Mind, plus you get uh, 
Roost, which I don't know why I didn't understand that Latios also got Roost, but I didn't. Um, it gets dual screens, never going to bring that, sorry. <laughs> um, it gets defog, never going to bring that either. Um, and it also gets Dragon Dance, so you can run offensive. It gets Earthquake, um, and it gets Outrage, and Psycho Cut, and Scale Shot, and Steel Wing, and Waterfall. That's weird. Okay. Anyway, I love Latios. It sets up, uh, or it fits nicely in my speed tiers. Um, because I had uh, Drill at 88, and then Coco, uh, so the 110 kind of fits in there nicely. Um, yeah, and so Weezing was next on my list. So I was talking with my friends Lee and Zex, and we were kind of planning this draft because I kind of wanted to take it seriously once I figured out that I'm going to be uploading it and stuff like that. So I like Weezing. Um, it's not my favorite because it doesn't touch the ground um, and you want your poison type to touch the ground and in my eyes if you're running a wheezing without levitate your opponent can't have a good ground type if they have a good ground type you should be running levitate um, because there's no real reason other than to absorb absorb toxic spikes um, I just yeah anyway so this gives me toxic spikes that was what I wanted um, Weezing's great, it gets Haze, it gets Will-O-Wisp, it gets uh, Memento, it gets Pain Split. We know what Weezing does, it's a fat physical wall. Um, and yeah, it's good, it's... Yeah, Weezing. Uh, and that was 7 points. So, we're kind of running out of points here, as you can tell, um, with Latios being picked. So I went with Girder. Um, and I think, I think fighting types are an underrated uh, need in a draft league team. Uh, sorry, let me just take a drink of water here. <clears throat> My voice is dying. <clears throat> Alright. Yeah, so uh, usually you want your dark type, you want your water type, your bulky water type, you want your dragon, you want your steel. And that's pretty much it. And your fairy. Um, and then you can kind of work around it. But I think fighting types are really important um, in draft because if you pair it with a good psychic type and you get a good fighting type, dark types don't care, or you don't care about dark types uh, to stop your psychic type. So with my psychic type being Latios, I wanted to make sure that I could check dark types really well. Um, and there's not a lot of special dark types. Uh, it's just like High Dragon. <sighs> Mega Sableye. Uh, yeah, I can't really think of any other special dark types, to be honest. Uh, let's just, like, Greninja, I guess. Um, yeah, but, like, most dark types Bisharp, Weavile, Tyranitar, um, uh, freaking Mega Gyarados, uh, Absol. No, no one's ab getting Absol. Anyway, most dark types are physical, so the special weakness for Girder doesn't really matter um, because he can re pretty much always switch on, on dark type moves. Um, and Girder's cool. You can run Eevee Light, get super fat. Uh, it's an underrated defogger because it resists rocks, um, so you only take 6%, uh, and that's pretty cool. Um, obviously, Knock Off, it gets priority, uh, which is super cool that I was lacking. Um, in a lot of my mons, yeah, pretty much all of them, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so it gets Mock Punch and Bullet Punch. Uh, oh, does it not get Bullet Punch? No, it only gets Mock Punch. Okay, whatever. Uh, but yeah, Knock, knock Off is pretty good. Um, and I like Girder. I don't know, it gets three great abilities. Um, Guts is great to absorb Toxics um, and or Will-O-Wisps. Uh, yeah, so... We have a lot of physical attackers, as you can see. Um, so I wanted to get a really good special breaker. And one of the most underrated Pokemon in competitive, the competitive scene, uh, is Scarfed e Eruption Typhlosion. Um, I used to love this thing back in XY. Uh, just hammering things with Eruption. And I've never, I've used it in draft, but I haven't used it in a long time. Uh, obviously Flash Fire gives me immunity to fire types 
Um, so it's a good pairing with Excadrill. Um, switching in on fire types like Heatran. Or Blaziken. Or... Charizard. Yeah, anyway. Uh, so it's basically an eruption Pokemon. Because uh, it gets all the physical moves. <laughs> and no special moves. It gets Focus Blast and Extra Sensory. And fire type moves. Let me just make sure it doesn't get Scorching Sands. No, because it's not even in Gen 8. Yeah. So, yeah. 100 speed. Perfect speed tier there. 88, 110. Uh, and then 130 with Coco. Perfect. Uh, second last pick. Cursula. I love Cursula. Uh, this is basically me picking Mons that I love. <laughs> um, super high uh, special stats. Slow as everything. Um, it's a ghost type, so it stops people from spinning. Uh, it's got weak, arm weak armor and perish body, which are two pretty great abilities. Weak armor obviously makes you fast. You run a sash set, you get hit with an Aka off or something. Go down to 1 HP, but you're at plus 2. Um, and then you uh, kill something, basically. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, or your weakness policy and your EV to live one hit. Um, you get the plus two speed and you get the plus two in attacks. Um, and then you just wreck shit. Um, yeah, it's got Strength Zap, which is cool. It's got Will O Wisp, of course. Uh, it's another rocker. Um, and then. It gets like every single special coverage move that you could ever ask for. Um, so, yeah, pretty cool. Five points doesn't really matter. Not gonna bring it a lot, but it's cool. It's there. Um, and then last pick I had two points left. Uh, obviously, two pointers are not gonna be great, but Vespa Quinn is awesome. So shout out to Lee, my man Lee set me up with Vespa Quinn. I was like. He's like, what what types don't you have? I'm like, uh, bug. I think it was bug. What were we looking at the last two? So bug, ghost, uh, something, something, something. There's a couple. And so we were looking for a bug type because bug types are cool. Uh, they are better now with heavy duty boots. Um, and Vespa Quinn is like underratedly fat. 70, 102, 102 is pretty solid uh, when it comes to bulk. This gives me aromatherapy, uh, so I have a cleric. This gives me another defogger. Uh, it gets reliable recovery in heal order and roost, if I want to do that. It gets toxic spikes too, and it gets U-turn, um, and it gets some pretty weird coverage moves like sludge bomb and power gem. Uh, yeah, so it's just a best one, but it's cool. It's got pressure. I can stall some not very strong things out, or I can pivot out on them, or I can defog, or I can set up toxic spikes. Um, yeah, so as you can see, we have a setup, but I already played it, so it doesn't matter. Haha! <laughs> um, yeah, so to review Extra Drill, Top of Coco, Gyarados Mega, Tangrowth, Gigalith, Braviar, Latios, Weezing, Girder, Typhlosion, Cursula, and Vespaquin. Now, last thing, uh, I gotta switch, hang on, let's see, I gotta switch sources here one second, boom, nope, nope, that's the wrong one, wait, no, is it not gonna let me, it's not gonna let me, Damn it. Hang on, I'm going to pause. I'll be right back. Here we go. Okay, so I figured it out. Hang on, let me just stretch this. That kind of fits. All right, uh, this is janky, but whatever. I want to show you for team, uh, for thumbnails this season, uh, you've already seen the thumbnail already, but I'm going manga, manga themed. Uh, so... I kind of love this. Uh, so I grabbed a manga, manga, sorry, manga screenshot uh, for each mon, and I'm gonna put them in the thumbnails if they do well. Uh, so we got Weezing here, 
with Team Rocket. We got Kursula. We got my boy Typhlosion. Look at him. He looks so cool. Oh my god. The manga's awesome. We got Girder here from N. We got Latios. Oh, this thing is sick. We got Tangrowth. I choose you, Tangrowth. Let's go. He's so cute. We got Vespaquin. Big B. We got Gigalith. Stopping a punch. Let's go. We got Big Braviary. He's so handsome. We got Drill looking smug as hell. And then we got Top of Coco. Fancy as ever. And then we got Lysander with the Mega Gyarados. Did you forget that Lysander had a Mega Gyarados? Because I forgot that Lysander had a Mega Gyarados. Hell yeah. This is awesome. I love it so much. I hope you guys enjoy the thumbnails at some point uh, during the season. Um, I'm going to switch back here to Chrome. Uh, yeah. And I will get out of here. Uh, that is it for me. So, oh shit, it's all messed up now. Hang on. Whoa, it doesn't matter. It's fine. It's fine. It's really fine. You know, this is so janky. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get out of here. Have yourselves a good day. I'm Jarris D, coach of your Winnipeg Bud Bombers, baby, and we're coming for that ICP chip this week, year, week, season, that's the one. I'm leaving. Bye.